Hey guys, it's Evelyn again and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making bitter leaves soup. I hope you're as excited as I am. So bitter leaves have lots of health benefits and they are packed with lots of vitamins and minerals. So why not add some of these amazing herbs into your diet? So if you're ready to watch how I prepare this pot of deliciousness, then let's get started. Alright guys, to make this soup today, I'm going to be using dry bitter leaves. If you have fresh bitter leaves, you can use that as well. So I'll be soaking them in some hot water for about 3 hours and this is just to loosen it up. Then I'll be adding some salt to help wash out some of the bitterness. After which I'll blend them into tiny pieces with a blender. So here I have some stockfish. Who doesn't like stockfish in their soup? Please comment down in the comment section, let me know. I'll be soaking them in some hot water for a few hours and this is just to soften them up before I cook. Here I'm just adding my stockfish into the pot. Then I'll pour some hot water. I'm going to allow this boil for about 30 minutes. So this is after 30 minutes. I'll be adding in some beef tribe and some chicken. And I'll season with some seasoning cubes and some salt. I'll allow this to boil until they are soft enough. I'm adding in some more hot water. Then I'll give it a good stir. I'm adding some freshly blended tomatoes and pepper. Then I'll add some crayfish and I'll give this a good stir. After about 5 minutes, it's now time to add our star ingredient and that's the bitter leaf. I've already washed and blended them behind the camera. I'll go ahead and gently give the soup a good stir. To thicken my soup, I'll be improvising here by adding some blended oats. So if you don't have some yam or cocoa yam, you can just blend your regular oats and this will serve as a thickener for your soup. Just make sure you mix this thoroughly and give it a few minutes to thicken up. So 
so the last thing i'll be adding is my palm oil you guys know i love my palm oil so at this point you can taste for salt and add in some salt The complete ingredients I used will be in the description box. So you give this a good stir and allow to cook for about 5 minutes. And our pot of deliciousness is ready. I want to take this opportunity to thank you all for being here and if you are new to my channel please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell i do hope you enjoyed this video today let me know your thoughts in the comment section stay safe guys and i'll see you all in my next one